Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where I'm still finding it somewhat difficult to record at my parents just because, you know, I'm hanging out with my family and doing stuff like that even though it's been a while, <laughs> but update to that, I just confirmed yesterday that I will have a new winter job coming up at the beginning of March, so that's really exciting, honestly. Uh, it's with a new company I've never worked with before, but they um, will be working in the same area, the exact same area, actually, on an old, like a, like sort of on an old project that I worked on my first year of doing archaeology. So this will be really cool. It's in southern Utah, and I'm very, I'm excited. I've actually been wanting to work in that area again for a long time because it was crucial to my development. It was really freaking cool. It was just a beautiful area with so many cool sites, and I'm really excited to go back and get back to work. To get back to work in uh, in the field because um, I've been getting a little antsy and I'm ready to go I'm ready to go so I'm trying to record a bit more before I leave um, for that uh, oh I have really quick been looking at the DLC list because I was looking at the journal and I was like oh we have this for Aria and stuff like that but the consensus the general consensus I'm seeing on the DLCs is that obviously we did farm rashes with Javik um, Javik we got him early on, which is good. The, what was the next one? The Leviathan is best to be done after Thessia, which I have vague recollections. Yeah, there's some stuff that's revealed in Leviathan that is built on what you see after Thessia. So if you do Leviathan first, it, it, it kind of messes with the story. Shepard acts like an idiot on Thessia, and it's like... You're like, what? <laughs> it's kind of like being an elf in Dragon Age Inquisition when you're playing the quest where you're going through the main mission where you're going through the elven temple, the Mythal temple, and your elven inquisitor is like, who's Mythal? And you just want to punch a wall with your face. Especially for me, because I literally had Mythal's, like, Valisleen tattooed on my face. It's just, that one was wild, let me tell you. Um, gonna get the mod for that, tell you what. Um, Omega for Aria uh, is best after Citadel 2. Spoilers, uh, the Citadel is going to be attacked again at some point. <laughs> and uh, after that, might be a good time for that. Because after that's one of the most difficult times in the game for me, emotionally. Um, and I'm just going to cry thinking about it. It's fine. Um, Citadel DLC, which is the best DLC ever created, ever, um, is best after... What was it? Horizon. I think Rhinoch was one that was mentioned, but um, playing after priority Horizon is good. The third, I think it's it's right at the beginning of the third act of the game, and truly, this article mentions it, but I've said it before. Um, the Citadel is what makes the final act, the third act of the game, bearable, because things get real. Like, things get really real. It's quite sad you know, in a lot of ways. So having the Citadel, which is the reason that I have laughed in this game, like out loud. I remember I enjoyed the DLC immensely. Um, anyway, that's enough. Just wallowing in decisions. I think we're all done here. I think I did everything here. It has been a while since I've played this once more. Um, so right now... <laughs> I am going to maybe just go do some fetch quests real quick. Welcome, Get them Shepherd. off my face. Get them out of my face. And if I'm now if I'm correct, a couple of these are in the same system. So we can get them done. At least get them picked up. I'm not necessarily gonna come back to the Citadel for them. Who walks like this? Who's like, eh, eh, like in a in a in a walking speed, but with jogging animation? Um, let me out. Get me out. Cause I keep seeing the DLCs pop up, and I'm like, oh man, when should I do those? I also can't remember. Like I said, I uh, I very specifically remember some things in the game. I very specifically remember certain things that as only as soon as they pop up, and I'm like, oh yes, I remember. And then I have no recollection. There's only three states of 
remembrance for me. We have unlimited probes, I think. Oh, sweet. That's what the advanced biotic implants are. Anything else? No? Okay. Sometimes there's stuff out in the middle of nowhere, but... Oh, 100% assets recovered. If only if I, if only I could read. If only I could read. Someday I would honestly really like to go through and do like a high quality video where like I don't say anything except I travel to each and every planet and read them out loud. This would be one of those like, I don't know, I guess maybe ASMR? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Could you mass effect ASMR? I, I laugh, but there probably is that. Um, just reading all the entries, all the planetary entries. It'd be fun to do for the first one and the second one too. I mean, I say fun, but it would be ages. It would take ages and ages and ages. And it would literally be one of those like, it's a, I don't know, five hour long video that you just put on in the background. <laughs> it's like background noise. Ooh, here we go. This is why I read these on a recent tour. It's like blah, 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 blah. There's a little air. On a recent tour, the Alliance survey ship Coupe discovered a group of partial graves hidden in the equatorial mountain ranges. The ancient skeletons and the burial sites are obviously humanoid, but incomplete and poorly preserved, which has made them difficult to identify. Fragments of primitive ceramic grave goods were also found nearby. This raises further questions about who once traveled to this inhospitable planet since the closest garden world, Volturno, has no intelligent life. Human universities are planning further archaeological investigations this my good people <laughs> is what i would really love to do is you know archaeology if it ever could be a thing i'd be on the first spaceship you know what i mean i could have sworn i actually turned this in already now that i think about it the book of Plenix. i thought oh, i did that but let's actually do the barlavan stuff then while we're out about Everything else is so vague. I could look it up, but it's the kind of stuff that I'm pretty sure will pop up uh, uh, naturally, you know, as you go through the game. Part of me is worried I may have missed the heating stabilizers, because I thought you got those from the Solarian homeworld. Ooh, do we want to extract the Turian survivors and investigate Cerberus' presence? Ugh. I know invest extracting the Turian survivors will further um, the mission going forward. I'm trying to think. How about we get Tally back? I know. I think we have to start Rannoch somehow, but I can't remember. If Rannoch is before Thessia? Frick. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'd like to get her back, but I think I have to further the quest a little, the, the main quest a bit more than I would like to. You know what I mean? Like a little bit faster than I want. Can I scan? I don't think we're gonna find anything in our lockup. Oh, I probably already read all this. It's hard to tell now the way that they do this. No. Okay, we're gonna investigate. That's right. That's right. If there's multiple missions on a planet, you generally have to... What do you do? What do you call it? Um... Go to that specific spot. You can't just like... Like you could in two, you land in one place and then you could kind of use that as a hub and then go like, it's like, oh, like in the Krogan one where you could go do several different missions. Um, I don't care about any of that. I'm gonna increase his health and shield because he does die. He does die more than I would like. Shepard Services landing forces away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground-to-space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan Rebellion. I remember. The site has no obvious military advantage, and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get in there, stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. See to it. Hack it out. Oh, I hope you guys didn't hear that. I forget to turn... Oh, shoot! And look at what it, look how nice it looks. 
All right, let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill anything in our way. I'm so angry. This I can do. Uh, but I had I forget to turn the volume off on my laptop. So, lo and behold, um, breaking. There's like an echo going on, but hopefully you guys didn't pick up on you guys. I have my shotgun. I would rather have. Oh yes, give me this thing. <laughs> you okay there, Jobin? Where's the other guy? What, where did you come from? It's very satisfying. Okay, though. Time to book it in. Just, just go. Time to go. Bye. Can't do what I want. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. Okay, you're dead. Let's try to dash across out of the range of that thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, come here. I need to upgrade my shotgun. Hang on. Switching. Oh, okay, cool. I'm actually trying to hit the turret. I would like to hit the turret. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Suck. Get up there to you. Oh, I love this. Okay. And I think it's time to test this cannon. I love taking the expedited stairs. Look at that. Look at that. Jeez Louise, this game's gorgeous. Yeah, I just took a took a photo. Love this stuff. Let's see. Else do we have old grid schematics? Not the kind of relic I, expected to find. I think I'll need that later, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Gimme. Yeah, I see that. I see that as pick upable. Pretty sure I need to press buttons over here first. No? Okay, this one? Why? Wait, why? Let's move. Oh. How do you get up there? Oh, a nemesis. Cool, cool beans. Love those. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Love that for me. One out.
Oh, jeez. Kill, nice. Excellent. Where are the rest of you? Oh, there was something I needed to do. There was buttons I needed to press. If I could get those up again, I don't know <laughs> what buttons I'm supposed to do. Up here? We go up here? Let's see. A latch. Okay. Now, where is the other one? Ah, okay, I know how to do it on controller. I had to click down on the left, on the right stick, rather. Don't know how to do it on the keyboard. Oh, was it right next to it? Nah, it was. I'm blind and dumb. It's fine. That's not what I wanted to do. Do I have to aim? Oh my gosh. What? Rerouted the power to the main console. Heading back oh, now. that's right. We are supposed to stop the. Uh, there's a Cerberus ship incoming that we're supposed to stop with the gun. Oh, come on. That should have worked. Oh, no, no. You get out here. I think it's kind of- oh, hey, look at that. It's kind of funny how, um, there's like these multiple flanking routes all over the place. Gives you a little bit more versatility than the first game did. Did you do it? Do the thing. I hear somebody, I swear. No? Okay. Can I press buttons now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enemies. Nope, I still can't. Let's see. There, oh. Let me press the button. <laughs> Coordinates, Lieutenant. 
Uploaded. Firing. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. Dead and buried. All right. Good work, everyone. Hooray! Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. Bye, Dad. Money. Love money. Alien, I think. Still, I still just have it all in Alien. Blood pack, private security group. Uh huh. Did this? Oh, oh maybe I hadn't. I hadn't checked it. Yeah. Okay. I hadn't checked it after Arya. Swap equipment, storage, and even the occasional barrel ring call. Hell yeah. Alright, we're on our way. We are well on our way. Ah, I don't know why it keeps sending me to the codex. Oh, this is... Okay, that one was the power grid one that we got from the Krogan. That's right, so we could give that. Um... Unless I do have the heating unit stabilized and I just didn't turn them in, maybe that's the th I need to keep track of the Citadel battle better. Also, I don't know why it keeps switching how I order things. I don't like that. The rack, no, that's right, that was for, what's his name though? for Rex. Actually, we're going to go do that. We're going to leave we're going to leave Tuchanka and we were going to we are going to go deal with the Rachni. That seems like a much, you know, in in game without meta when I know who we're going to see. <laughs> so I'm excited to go see my boy. Um but yeah, in meta, it's like, oh, we should probably check out the Rachni incursion ASAP. So Let's go do that in the next video. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons, uh, but especially to my two sapling tier patrons, Reese Galito, thank you so much. And Adam, thank you so much for your guys' support. I really appreciate it. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest, your saint, basically. So thank you so much. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, and thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.